Well, hello, welcome to DJ Fossils and a very good early morning to you, quite everyone. Uh, so today we're at Brunswick Bay, heading round to the point up there to Kettle Ness. So we're pretty much all the way across the beach. We're just at the rock face now in Brunswick and just having a look. And as I walk past, I spotted this. So not a bad find as we're only heading through uh, so have a look at that one when I get home I don't want to stop and bang things at the moment because we want to get we've got a little bit of a walk and it's starting to get light as you can see but we've got a bit of a trek still to get round to the bay so I'll see you soon and hopefully we'll have some good finds today so that's Runswick over there and we found those nodules that nodule over there and then we found two more afterwards uh, this lot's all pretty rocky sorry about the focus it doesn't like the light at the moment and we're just heading around the headland point there uh, but it is very rocky so it's a bit hard to get through uh, so you can't get around down there yet because the tide hasn't gone out enough but it is clear around the headland at the moment so so we've got round the point as you can see and here is Kettle Nest Bay. So we're going to start looking. There's good spots here already. So we're going to have a look around and see what we find here. Now that we've got here at last. Uh, Jackie just found this little one. A uh, little bit seaworn, but it's got some nice edges so we can give this one a little tap and just see if the centre's all right and have a look at it. So put my glove back on quick. Sides come straight out. Oh, beautiful centre on that one. A little bit worn around the edges, but the centre looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Mm. The other side will probably tap off just as easily. There we go. Let's have a look. Not quite as nice as the other side, but. Still, nice little laminite. Well, not found a lot yet, really. And um, did spot this on the floor. Nice sea urchin, mechanoid. But it's got a big hole in the top, unfortunately. But beautiful patterning on them. But not going to bother keeping it because it's broken. Well, we didn't find an awful lot, a few small bits of nodules and stuff like stuff like this. But not great, you know, another one there. I'll just turn it over a sec. So there's one in there. But nothing brilliant. Um, we're going to start heading back uh, while it's easier to get back. And if, if we don't find anything else, then we'll leave the video there. Right, just found this little nodule, a little bit sea warm, but we're going to give it a tap and see what we can see on that. Not bad. A little bit of damage in the middle. Not too bad at all. I think the other side will probably tap off quite easily as well, but I'm going to leave it for now. Well, welcome back to DJ Fossils and obviously we're doing a few prep videos and just thought I'd quickly show you this one though before I do. It's not part of a prep video but it's one of the Hildes that I picked up. Uh, if you, I don't know if you can see it on the camera but this is all golden pyrite underneath. So it should come up really nice once it's all cleaned up. But yeah, it's all gold pyrite, solid pyrite. But yeah, that's what I spotted on the beach in the when it was in the sand. This is the one that I found buried um, with just the top sticking out in the sand up at Saltwick Bay. Yeah, Saltwick Bay. 
so yeah it's quite a nice one but today's video I'm working on a few different bits but um, today's video is this nodule here and what we found was this top bit there and it's got a nice actually got a crack running through there look so it should come apart quite nicely but I'm still going to use the prep tools because what I don't want to do is damage any of the spines if I just tap it sometimes the spines will come off or you get a damaged part so I'm going to do it with the prep tools it should come out quite easily there's a lovely gap there so they should start coming off pretty quick so that's what I'm going to be working on in this video and we'll see what ammonite's in there uh, it's a bit of wear on the edge there as you can see but the rest of it should be really nice Right, so that's the finished product. Um, obviously I'm indoors so it's artificial light, but it's looking really nice. I'm quite happy with that. I think that looks really good. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, for those who have just watched the speed version, I'm putting up a full version as well because I've been asked by different people to do some videos without there's time lapse, so the time lapse one will be for the people that you know want to see a just a quick video of it coming out, and then there's the full version that will be coming up shortly afterwards of the same prep, but without any time lapse. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you haven't already, hit the like button and please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.